Hello friends, we are back and today we are taking care of a pesky problem that has been plaguing us in the garden. What is that, Michaela? Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. Whenever we're out in the evening and we're weeding the garden, all sorts of pesky mosquitoes and bugs are prowling around. So we are going to take today and we are going to make some all natural mosquito repellent and bug spray. Let's get started. All right, if you're new to our channel, I'm Christy and this is my daughter, Michaela. Say hello. Hey. Michaela has a flower farm business, so she's out in the garden a lot with me. And man, oh man, the mosquitoes have been eating our lunch, haven't they, Michaela? Yes. We're gonna take some of these herbs, we're gonna mix them together, and we are gonna make some all natural bug spray. So first of all, we're gonna take a tablespoon of each of these and put it in just a regular old glass mason jar, right? Okay, so the first one we have is what, Michaela? Spearmint. Spearmint? Ooh, that smells. Ugh. Ugh. It smells like your tea stuff. <laughs> it smells like your tea stuff, because my tea is made out of mint. Okay, we've got one tablespoon of spearmint. Yes, perfect. So next we have, what is this, Michaela? Lemongrass. Lemongrass, we're gonna use a tablespoon of lemongrass. And actually in some studies, lemongrass has been proven to be more effective at fighting mosquitoes than citronella. And for me, it was more easily accessible than citronella, but you can substitute citronella if you'd rather. <laughs> and I'll put the recipe down in the description so that you can reference that. All right, what do we have here? Catnip. That's kind of fun. Let's smell it. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> okay. Don't let Grammy's cats get to it. Don't let Grammy's cats get to it. Nope. We don't have cats because I'm super allergic, but Grammy does. All right. Go for it. A tablespoon. I'm not allowed to use this while the cats It'll keep the mosquitoes away, but will it keep the cats away? Will we have cats like chasing us? Yeah. <laughs> we can't use this while the cousins are here. Because the cats will chase us. Okay. And then what do we have? Lavender. Lavender. I'm Ooh. scared to smell this because I like Well, I'm running low on lavender. I, 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 like, to... I like the smell of this, but it's very strong. It is very strong. <laughs> In pure <laughs> form, it is strong. <laughs> it is very strong, but it's ooh, it's lovely. And I get my herbs, all of these herbs are from Mountain Rose Herbs. I will link that below too. Um, they have amazing, potent, really wonderful herbs. Uh, and you can buy them either in small packages, but it's always cheaper if you know you're gonna use a lot of something to buy it in bulk. So what we're going to do is to steep this in the jar, almost like tea. So we're gonna steep it for how long, Michaela? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. We're gonna put a whole cup of boiling water over this. So, got my tea kettle ready to go. It's very steamy. Yeah, that's because it's just finished boiling. All right, you can pour this right into there. Yeah, we're just, you're just making tea, aren't you, Mom? Basically, that's what's going on. When you cover the herbs in hot water, what it does is it extracts the volatile um, oils out of the herbs. And so that's, that's what we use when we're making tinctures and teas and all these things that help medicinally. But in this case, it's gonna help ward off some insects. So we are gonna set our timer for 30 minutes and we will see you back then. All right, we are back and Michaela is gonna walk us through what we do next after 30 minutes of steeping. So first I have this little tea strainer and we're gonna stick it in a new jar. And then we got this funnel that we're gonna stick right over it. And we're gonna pour this in here. It actually smells really good. Yeah. But it smells like your tea. It's not good, but it's not bad. <laughs> your tea is just grosser than it smells. She, do, do you think that she likes herbal tea? <laughs> Sweet tea is the best tea. <laughs> all right, I think. Okay, let's mash just to make sure we get all of the good oils out. Mash it in. Good. And now we're gonna put half a cup of witch hazel extract in here. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, and we're just gonna pour this in here. We're gonna use our spoon now and mix this up. And this is all there is to it. We're gonna put it in our little baby spray bottle right here. So I have this tiny funnel that just perfectly barely fits in here. Um, I'm gonna pour this in. Now, be careful, because... Okay, that's... Ah! <laughs> oh, no. Yep, a little bit too much. That's okay. Uh, we got it. Yeah. Hold on, let's pour a little bit out so we can fit the... And then we just close this jar up and put it somewhere. And then right here we have our little bit mosquito spray. Mosquito spray, perfect. All right, let's try some out. So this is actually, there are several out there that are made with essential oils. This is actually better for sensitive skin than those because it's not the concentrated essential oil that you're making it with. <laughs> Let us know in the comments what you do for mosquitoes and bugs to keep them away. <laughs> smells better than the other stuff that you buy at the store, but it doesn't smell good. <laughs> <laughs> if you got some value out of this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel so that you can get updates on what we're doing on the homestead.